I am so valuable to God that he purchased me at a great price. The truest thing about you is what God says about you. But so many Christians don't realize what God says about them. For example, you are special because God, now, now think of this, God made you unique. Different, what is unique means different from all others, no equal or like to it in the world. And that's who you are. Now, now did you ever realize that? Out of six billion people alive, there is no one else like you that makes you special. Notice what God says. When I look at the nightly sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in place, what are mortals that you should think of us, mere humans that you should care for us? For you made us only a little lower. Now, some of your translations say angels. You know what the original language says? God. Whoa. Yeah. A little lower than God and crowned us with glory and honor. You put us in charge of everything you made, giving us authority over all things, the sheep and the cattle and the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean current. O oh Lord, our Lord, the majesty of your name fills the earth. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They are innumerable. That's what God thinks about you. His thoughts about you are so precious. You are unique. I was speaking at Penn, the University of Pennsylvania. And when I finished my talk, I was speaking on self-image. A young man gave me a poem he had written while he was sitting there. And when I got back to my room, I read the poem. It was called Me. And the gist of the poem was, was this. God made me to be me and you to be you. And if I'm not me and you are not you, then who will be us? God made me to be me. And if I am not me, who else will be? Oh, when I read that poem, I said, God, that is an expression of your very heart towards me. God made you unique from over all other creation and over all other people alive. And every day I like to remind myself, I am special to God because he has made me unique. And therefore, I don't want to be like someone else. Because if you are not yourself, now think of this, you are robbing the body of Christ of a genuine gift. God created you to be you and me to be me, all to his glory.